Hello and welcome to this video. So today we have here an exciting package. So this is from Sub K. I bought the, oh my god, what is it called? The 80s Fever DVD photo book thing. So that's what's in here. I bought one off of Sub K on a random night and then one off of Hello82. I really want to collect my bias line, which are, you know, Wu Young and Mingi right now. Sungwa is part of my bias line as well, but oh my god, those three photo cards are so cute! I mean, if I pull any other member, I think I'll probably keep them. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'll be able to trade, so I'm really nervous on like my pull for the photo card. But anyway, I'm so excited. I haven't seen a single unboxing on this. Here is... Ah! Here's the... Oh, what is it called? The DVD thing? The photo book? So here's the subcase stuff. Cute. Ah, I'm so excited. So here's the, um, yeah, it's definitely more like a photo book. They just announced another summer photo book and I'm like, stop it. <laughs> okay, let me take it out of this plastic. Oh my gosh, I'm so thrilled and the photos are so cute. Oh my God. Y'all have no idea. Actually, you probably have an idea of how excited I am. Ooh, is this where all the inclusions are? What should we do first? Let's look through the photo book. I'm so friggin' excited. So here, oh, let me show you. I'm such a mess. Oh my god. So here's the photo book. It's so pretty. The cut. oops. I knocked that over, but the colors are so freaking pretty. Okay. Ooh, okay, so here's all the chapters. Oh my god. This is no, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I actually got into 80s. I my first comeback with 80s was actually Inception, so this is bringing back a whole lot of memories. I mean, I was a fan since Answer era. I don't know why I never really got into Answer like their comeback happened but I I wouldn't call it my first comeback though because I watched the Wonderland performance and I was like wow I love it and then I watched Answer but not like when it actually was released I watched it like a few weeks later and I loved it and I don't know why then between Answer and Inception was when I was like okay I really love this group <laughs> oh my gosh look at them and now they're my all <laughs> Number one alt. Oh my god. Seriously, this brings back so many memories. Wow. I cannot. <laughs> I'm getting emotional. I loved Yo Song's long hair. And look at it. You know. This was definitely Sungwa's era. Like, you cannot. I'll, yeah, I'll fight anybody and everybody on that. It was Sungwa's era during Fever Part 1. Oh my gosh, the fever whole entire era, like all four eras in one era, if that makes sense. So fever one, two, three, and then epilogue are definitely like my favorite eras. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, I wasn't there during the treasure era, but I don't know. There's something about fever era that just is so good. Oh, now we're on to Fever 2. This was a sad time for me because this is when Mingyu was gone. He was on his hiatus during this time. And I remember how sad I felt when they announced that he was not going to be part of this comeback. And I was like, you're what? You're lying to me? Oh my god, I really like how they put all the concepts in just one photo book. You don't even need to buy their elbow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you really don't because you have everything in here. Oh my gosh, I really love this. Oh my god. And I'm going to have a few of these. So I have a few of the, um, not a few, but I have an extra of the treasure one because they did kind of the same thing for treasure era. And I do have an extra one of those and I'm going to have an extra one of these. I don't know, it'd be kind of cool if I made like a little collage thing on my wall with these. I'm thinking about it. But yes, 
I should say my favorite songs per era. So for the Fever Part 1, oh, I should do Inception versus Thanks. So do like the two title tracks, like which one was my favorite. So for the Fever Part 1, oh, I loved both of the songs. I think I was definitely more an Inception kind of galley, but now I'm definitely both because <laughs> I can get down to things. Fever though, like the song Fever, oh, I love that song so much. I thought that was going to be their title track because it's literally Fever Era, but it makes sense. It's a really good intro to this entire era. Sano is insane for this. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> Protect him. And then for um, Fever 2, there was only I'm the One or Fireworks, so there wasn't two title tracks. And then Fever 3. <laughs> I love Fever 3 so much. It's actually my most listened to album ever is Fever 3. My favorite album, though, I think is actually Fever 1, but Fever 3 is my most listened to on Spotify. I was just so excited that Mingi was <laughs> so freaking excited. I was definitely more of a deja vu gal than Inter Eternal Sunshine, but now I've been more into, like, the cuter, like, refreshing concepts, and so I've been really into Eternal Sunshine, but I love both. Wow, but Deja Vu is <laughs> such a good song. Wow. I love this entire album so much, though. They look so cute. This is like the diary concept for the album. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this so much. I love when they're wearing just white tops and then jeans. They look so good. It's like my favorite uniform for idols. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I really love this so much. It's bringing back so many memories. Fever Part 3 was also when I won a video call. Oh my god, look at that song, Mingi. Like, you're kidding. You're joking. <laughs> I can't. He has a hold on me. Oh my god, this is the... Con oh my god, wait. This is the concept for the photo cards. And y'all, <laughs> I'm really nervous as to who I'm going to pull. Look at little son. Oh my gosh. I mean, I love all of the members, so I don't really care who I pull, but you know, it'd be kind of cool to pull one of my biases because I don't think I'm going to be able to like physically trade whenever I buy DVDs or anything, DVDs, photo books, random summer merch that they do and I get a photo card pull. I always keep it. I've never traded it. And so with this, I don't think I'll trade even if I don't get my biases. <laughs> it's so cute. So, yeah, that's why I'm like, I'm going to have to buy a million. I'm probably going to end up collecting OT8 because I cannot trade these photo cards, but I really want, you know, Mingi and Wu Young. So, I really like this concept. It's so freaking cute. Oh my god, he's wearing a little hoodie. Oh, Wu Young's hair, his Oreo hair top tier i don't think any other hairstyle will ever top his oreo hair oh my gosh oh look at he is such boyfriend material like are you kidding are you joking sorry i feel like this was not centered the entire time <laughs> oh my gosh oh my God. he's also boyfriend material man i love these men no i'm devastated <laughs> oh my gosh can you tell that these men have a hold on me? Because I am weak for every single member. Oh, look at how baby they look. Oh my god. Sangwa? You're kidding. He looks so good in those glasses. I really like Hongjun with like any and every hairstyle. I like his short hair. I like when he had a mullet. I loved the Cruella hair. I love him with brown or black hair. Oh my god. He just rocks every hair style and color, but so does like every member, so. Oh, and then we have the Eternal Sunshine little, like the ending of Eternal Sunshine music video. They're so cute. I really liked his mint hair too. I'm telling you, I liked all of the hair. Ooh, deja vu concept. Yeah, are you kidding? Like deja vu, get deja vu, da, 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 da. Like, oh, that's just so freaking catchy. 
How do you not love Deja Vu? <laughs> it's definitely one of my favorite songs by the <laughs> Or title tracks, I should say. Well, I don't even know if it'd be my favorite. I think it's just one of my more listened to title tracks from them. Oh, I love this. Someone just, he looks way too good all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and now we move into epilogue era. Look at little baby Jungho. I love Yo Sung with black hair. I don't know. He looks good with the blonde hair, but there's something about black hair that just... I just really like black hair on idols, though. Mingi's like silver hair. I'm sorry. I'm only talking about the hair. I didn't even... I stopped talking about the songs. Um, So for epilogue, they had The Real and Turbulence. I honestly, for epilogue, because it was... The comeback happened literally like a few months after Fever 3 and I was obsessed with the Fever 3 album. I was only really listening to that. This album is a little more emotional to me. It has like the more emotional songs <laughs> and so I cannot listen to the epilogue album without wanting to bawl my eyes out if I'm being honest. So I don't listen to it too often but if I'm like in my feels it's like the perfect album. <laughs> but then all of a sudden the reel starts. And then I get happy again because that's such a good song. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Fever Songs, The Era, it's just definitely my favorite. My favorite album of all time though is still All to Action or the album that has Wonderland in it. That out like those B sides are my favorite. And I also love Wonderland. And it was like the first song I ever saw them perform cuz not like in person, but the first music video I guess I ever saw of them. Oh my god, it looks so baby. Yeah, this is definitely like, wow. Wow, emotional. This was when I got really depressed was during their Fever XR show thingy because they announced the world tour that I couldn't go to. And now they have another world tour that I can't go to. Well, world US tour, basic. Well, I guess it's kind of world tour, I guess. Um, but yeah, can't go to any of their tours. <laughs> I'm so sad. But I'm trying not to be depressed this time. But during this time, during the XR show, the it was like an online concert thing. I got so depressed after that. Like, it was really bad. And then I was like, okay, I'm never going to feel this way again. <laughs> like, I just can't. I refuse to get depressed over it. Oh, song Mingi. Although I am still really, really sad. I can't make it. <laughs> Uh, I have, I'm not going to be in town when they're in Chicago and then the city that I'm going to, well the state that I'm going to is in November, but so they're going to Chicago, but I'll be in Texas and then the day that I arrive in Texas I think is like the 17th or something and their concert is the 16th in Texas so I literally miss out on both shows. It's so sad. I was so depressed when I saw that. Because my mom even said that when ATs like have a concert, she would go with me because they're my alt. And I can't go to their concert. <laughs> now I'm getting depressed again, so I don't even want to talk about it. But anyway, that's the fever era. Oh my god. And then we have this thingy, which has the DVDs, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think I was right calling this more like a photo book because it's definitely just like a photo book. People are calling it a DVD. Which it is a DVD. I don't even know. I guess it's both. Oh, oh no. Do you see how scratched up that is? But anyway, we have the disc one. And then we have disc two. I wonder what's on these discs. I've never once ever watched any of my discs <laughs> that I have. I'm terrible. Okay, let's do these like postcard thingies or posters. I don't even know. So we have this one, which has... Oh, it is a poster, which has Hong Joon and Sungwon on top. Oh, and then the bottom, it has Yuno and Yo Sang. So we have a Hyung line here. That is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the back is just white, so nothing special there. And then oh, we have the Maknae's. So we have San and Mingi, and then Woo and Jungho. <laughs> 
so adorable okay let's do the photo card oh my gosh is this a long video i hope not <laughs> but here's the photo card that i'm really nervous <laughs> i'm so nervous is there a name on the back i don't know <gasps> it is on the back <laughs> oh my god i don't know that probably just sounded like a bird but it was me it was me <laughs> Oh my god. I'm currently gonna cry. I'm not gonna lie, out of the three photo cards, like from my bias line, this is the one I wanted the most. <laughs> I am so happy right now. Oh my god. I saw the mint and I was like, oh no, it does have my name. I guess I'll know for when I unbox the Hello 82 one. I don't know. Hello 82, I pre-ordered those like right when the pre-order period began. And then this one I bought th two hours before it was released. <laughs> like, I don't remember what the last day was. Let's pretend it was like the 18th or something. So um, on the 17th at like midnight, I ordered it and there was only like two hours left to pre-order, like the pre-order part of it. And so, yeah, the fact that this arrived for my Hello 82 ones is insane. I'm like, I'm about to go buy more off of Subgay. Okay, not really, because they just released their summer one, so I have to buy that. But, oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> wow, I don't know. Is it supposed to be like this? Do you see that? I'm wondering if it's... I'm going to look at photos and see if it has this right here. But anyway... That was, let me put them up there, my poll and the beautiful photo book. So the next time I will not be going through the photos, but I will just see who my polls are. I have like another random thing arriving too. So maybe I'll put like a collective haul of my polls for random things that I have purchased. But anyway, or maybe I'll put it when I open mail and stuff. But anywho, that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you guys in the next one.